Marie Clay and the Emergent Literacy Theory, presented by Jennifer Fisher. Who was Marie Clay? Marie Clay was born on January 3, 1926 in Wellington, New Zealand. She earned a bachelor's degree in education from the University of New Zealand in 1946 and a master's degree in education in 1948. She studied clinical child psychology at the University of Minnesota in the early 1950s and earned a doctorate in education from the University of Auckland in 1966 with a thesis entitled Emergent Literacy. She taught elementary and special education in New Zealand and was a school psychologist there before joining the University of Auckland faculty. She was married to and later divorced Warwick Clay. They had two children, Jenny Clay and Alan Clay, as well as three grandchildren. She was the founder of the nationally implemented reading recovery intervention. Her reading and writing recovery is an early literacy intervention which is now implemented in five countries and three languages. Mari Clay was past president of the International Reading Association, served on the editorial committees of professional journals, was a research consultant at home and abroad, including UNESCO, chaired a social science research committee advising government on policies and research allocations, and worked internationally with problem solving related to early intervention research and practice. Ms. Clay was widely honored for her work. She was made a Dame Commander of the British Empire in 1987. According to ReadingRecovery.org, Mari Clay's research focused on the formative years of literacy learning. She studied changes in literacy behaviors of young children as they learned to read and write continuous text over a period of time. She was the first to employ the emergent literacy theory, as discussed in Lenses on Reading. One of the central tenets in this theory is that children's development in the areas of listening, speaking, reading, and writing are interrelated. This means that positive growth in one area of development would foster benefits in another area. Children's awareness of these relationships supports their early relationship with reading and writing. Secondly, the emergent literacy theory believes that learning begins at birth and children should immediately be talked to or read to regularly. In order for some students to acquire the emergent literacy stage of development, children must master the concepts about print. This theory outlines a lot of what needs to happen in the early years in order to have successful readers. Clay explains this theory when she stated, in a complex model of interacting competencies in reading and writing, the reader can potential, potentially draw from all his or her current understanding and all his or her language competencies. And visual information and phonological information and knowledge of printing conventions in ways which extend both the searching and linking processes, as well as the item knowledge repertoires. Learners pull together necessary information from print in simple ways at first, but as opportunities to read and write accumulate over time, the learner becomes able to quickly and momentarily construct a somewhat complex operating system, which might solve the problem. There is no simplified way to engage in the complex activities. As stated previously, Marty Clay was the first to employ the emergent literacy theory. She also was the founder of Reading Recovery. The University of Auckland reported that in 1976, Clay began to work with a team to develop an intervention known as Reading Recovery that would bring the lowest children up to the average band of progress in their classrooms. Clay and her team did not realize the amount of possibilities that would be created for children, teachers, and for schools with many different backgrounds and circumstances. After being trialed for three years, Reading Recovery became a national education program in New Zealand in 1983. Remarkably, Reading Recovery is now operating in most English-speaking countries and has been redeveloped for use in Spanish and French languages. Please pause the PowerPoint now and click on the link provided to watch a quick video on Reading Recovery. 
The Marie Clay Research Center explains that her theoretical and research contributions extend beyond reading recovery into children's learning and families, early childhood education, and primary grades. The foundations of her thinking brought her research and translations into practice and led to novel approaches for observing and facilitating children's learning. The work she did was able to change the conversation about how to instruct struggling students. She showed the world that all children can learn and grow regardless of their achievement level. This conversation is now embedded in diverse international education systems. There are many ways you can support emergent literacy in your classroom. If you create a reading center, it should have a nurturing, relaxed place for reading. Have flexible seating. It should provide a variety of books, including the book you are reading during read aloud or reading groups. There should be books that your students have written, children's magazines, cartoon books, and joke books. Add a variety of environmental print on the walls, including travel posters, big book covers, schedules for the day and week, and directions to do desired things. You could create a writing center that utilizes different kinds of colors of paper, different sizes of envelopes, a computer, pens, pencils, letter stencils, ink pad and stamps, calendar blanks, individual student journals, and blank reading cards. You also should include magazines, large calendars, and a bunch of different environmental print. This might include traffic signs, posters, or booked book covers. Lastly, if you develop a listening center, make sure you provide an area where children can listen with earphones to music or desired books on the computer. Reading and writing should be integrated into every subject. This would include the content areas. This concludes my presentation on Marie Clay. If you would like additional information about Marie Clay, please see any of the resources listed. In addition, please don't forget to take my attached quiz in the discussion board.